costume is one of the most important things in a show like this. My name's Anna Robbins and I'm the costume designer on the Halcyon. I brought her with me from Downton Abbey. As soon as I knew I was coming on this, Anna was one of my first calls because Getting the period costumes perfect is such a skill. It's a period drama, but we wanted it to feel fresh, to look at its period in history through this prism of glamour, sex. It was about it becoming bold and using colour and trying to reflect the high society, aristocratic, partying, contrasted with that really sort of gritty realism of the East End Blitz. Period drama, need a good makeup artist. Karen. The house has been mostly based on late 30s. We wanted to really capture that essence that the war hasn't properly taken hold yet. For the women it's crisp waves, it's the odd chignon. So within the late 30s you've got shoulders rather than waists and you embrace the 40s more with the very cutting edge fashions. It's a wonderful period for costume. It's such a rich tapestry. It's got the RAF uniforms, Emma's uniforms. They're beautiful. They're all absolutely stunning. I'm wearing a waspy to kind of hold it all in a bit. You put it on, it kind of straightens you up and makes you feel a little bit important. Anna and her team have done an amazing job. So this is um, Billy's costume, which has got our cast buttons on and our little badges. Anna's created all of the house union uniforms, you know, the porters, the waiters, the bellboys, the, the doormen. I walk onto set most days and see uniform there and feel really proud. Today we are filming Story Day 21, which is at the final episode of The Halcyon, and it is the big 50th anniversary birthday party for the hotel. So we have everybody in their finery. The Halcyon on a normal day has probably over 10 supporting artists that need to be prepped and dressed and looked after on set, but that number can go up to over 100 quite easily. When you're in at sort of six to get everybody ready for eight and you're trying to get 100 people through, it is a logistical feat. On the house here, the crowd and the supporting artists are something actually I'm very personally proud of. We've got 100 extras and everyone's got the perfect hair and the perfect little tashes and, the, and that attention to detail is really important. Someone like Cara Toynton with bang on 1940 and absolutely beautiful, perfect hair. She's mostly based on film stars. I got to play dress up for two hours on my first day here because Anna had a rail of about 100 dresses and I was determined to try on every single one. Everything I put on her looked absolutely stunning. I've got my eye on so many of those little numbers. Obviously, in a series like this, characters develop and they all go through quite a long journey. Lady Hamilton, for me, was a really fascinating character. She goes through such an emotional journey that we wanted to start off quite hard, this armour that she's built up, um, and then expose that. She becomes softer and younger and wanting to be sexy again. You would reflect that in her makeup. Also, we've made the makeup more glamorous. She started off with much more structured tailoring. And as we kind of work through her relationship with Lucian, the fabrics become floatier as she becomes more romantic and vulnerable and opened up. And then at the very end, yeah, she has to get the armour back on. And I'm basically in liquid metal for the last scene. Both Karen and Anna do so much research. If the audience are going, oh, is that right, is that right? Then they're not engaged in the drama. And that's most important, you, you do all of this other stuff to just forget about it and concentrate on the story. 